Hey guys, this took quite a while to put together, but we wanted to kick off 2016 with a bang. So without further ado, here are 50 upcoming indie titles that will make you salivate in excitement. With its development being led by Matt Nava, the art director of Journey, Abzu promises to be a deeply effectual swim under the ocean. Adrift is an immersive first-person experience that casts you as an amnesia-stricken astronaut caught amid the wreckage of a spaceship. It'll be coming to PC and Oculus first. The original Banner Saga is coming to consoles in January, and this, the second part of the trilogy, is due mid-year. Expect more Vikings and turn-based battles. Battleship Brigade is a delightfully wacky mix of action, anime and Iron Chef that has you hunt down food and then serve it up as the perfect dish. Announced back in 2013, Below will finally release this year. We don't know much about it, other than it's an exploration focused roguelike and will be exclusive to Xbox only temporarily. Very mysterious. Currently on early access, Besiege has already proven itself a winner. Build a siege weapon, go to town on buildings, and enjoy the ensuing destruction. Chasm is a pixel gorgeous metroidvania with procedural generation. After a long development, we have our fingers crossed 2016 is the year we get to see it at long last. Crossing Souls is an action adventure that takes you back to 1986. Follow the story of five Californian kids who discover the world of the dead and become embroiled in a government conspiracy. It feels like we've been waiting forever, but we're confident this is the year we get Cuphead. An homage to early cartoons that looks amazing and plays tough. Dad by the Sword is a swordplay driven roguelike in which you play as an everyday dad. Bizarre yet intriguing. A successful 2015 on early access and our darkest dungeon is ready for full release. It's a brutal RPG roguelike set in a Lovecraftian inspired world that's not at all for the faint hearted. Also still in early access, Distance is a futuristic survival racer with dope beats coming soon to PS4 and PC. Original Sin 2 is the next step in the CRPG formula that won many hearts and fans in 2014. This time, there'll be a greater concentration on characters' backgrounds and multiplayer. Donut County is the solo project of Ben Ospacito, who you may know as the dev behind the unfinished Swan. Still unfinished, this physics adventure game has already picked up accolades from the IGF and IndieCade. Much like Dark Souls, Patience and observation are key to mastering combat in Eta. It's a little thing, but Eta also has some pretty neat lighting effects. The wait is almost up for Campo Santo's narrative-driven adventure, Firewatch. In it, you're a fire lookout, bored and alone in the wild. But then unexplainable things begin to happen. Much intrigue. The Flame in the Flood is a struggle to survive whilst headed downstream in a post-apocalyptic Southern America. The music and atmosphere is strong with this one, and you can try it now on Early Access. Gigantic is a new combination of third-person shooters and the team-based games of MOBAs, such as Dota. We'll follow a freemium model, so it'll be free to play too. From Double Fine and Adult Swim games, Headlander is a nutty sci-fi adventure in which you play as a human head that can detach and fly between robot bodies. Hellblade is a high production project that follows the story of Celtic warrior Senua and the psychotic delusions of her mind. Back in 2013, Hyperlight Drifter obliterated its funding goal on Kickstarter and ever since anticipation has grown for this beautiful throwback to the 8 and 16 bit eras. Supposedly in development since 2010, Inside is Playdead's creepy follow up to their much beloved Limbo. Fun fact, a real human skull has been used to create some of the game's audio. Pretty spine tingling stuff, hey? Jenny Leclue is the French Nancy Drew, and in 2016 she invites you to join her on her quest to find out the truth behind the murder that her mother's been accused of. 
Our number one Kickstarter game of 2014, Kingdom Come Deliverance, is due out mid-year. It's an RPG set in a historically accurate and open medieval world that comes with graphics to die for. The Mysterious Kona is a journey of survival, told in the snowy wilds of Quebec. Episode 1 of this French production hits early access in January. Crawdscape is a truly unique racer in which the leader builds the map whilst the race unfolds. After a long and difficult journey on early access, we hope 2016 is the year for Crawdscape to shine. Last Life is a two hour long experience in which you play a detective back from the dead and looking for answers. With noir vibes, funky minimalist style and a Mars setting, you can colour us eager. My heart's last beat. The Long Dark is a brutal and gritty battle between you and nature that's impressed so far on early access. However, its defining moment comes in autumn with the release of its story mode. Manifold Garden looks like the work of an architect on acid. And well, it looks amazing. This surrealist dream inspired by the art of MC Escher will reset the rules of gravity for a markedly different experience. Only a month away now, Mighty Number no. 9 is so close you can almost touch it. Not just a Mega Man remake, its new absorption dash ability speeds up the pace significantly. With Hotline Miami coming to an end, maybe Mother Russia Bleeds can assume the mantle of hyperviolence in gaming. Play as a large, drug-addicted Russian and beat the crap out of everyone you see. At the end of everything, hold on to anything. That's the idea behind Night in the Woods, in which you play as May, a college dropout returning home. From what we've seen, it appears humorous, charming and deep. No Man's Sky. It's probably the most anticipated game of 2016. Rumour has it that the devs are working on adding VR support. And well, can you think of a game that's more perfectly suited for it? Not abduction, but rather obduction, is quite a beautiful looking spiritual successor to the classic PC adventure Myst. Original dev studio Sign is working on it too. Outer Wilds is a spacefaring game in which you have 20 minutes before the nearby star goes supernova, other the moon in Majora's Mask. Also won the grand prize at 2015's Indie Games Festival. Oli Oli, meet Oxenfree, the open world adventure game about a high school party turned horrifyingly wrong. Reportedly, the devs are in talks with publisher Skybound to bring Oxenfree to comics and film. Rhyme is an explorative platformer that reminds us of Wind Waker with its cell shaded art and Eco with its vast and lonely island filled with ruins. Worth playing for the visual spectacle alone. We talked about a Hotline Miami successor, but what about one for Ori and the Blind Forest? Seasons After the Fall has the forest setting and very similar art. A key difference however is that it's more puzzle based. Things were quiet on the sky torn front in 2015. But we should see it before the year's out. Anticipate a side-scrolling quest through different dungeons up high in the sky. With an id Software-led Doom reboot coming out this year, it's kind of funny that we're also getting Strafe, a homage to Doom and the FPS scene of the 90s. Time moves, but only when you do. That's the guiding principle of Superhot. This red, white and black matrix simulator that's more about strategy than shooting. Fulbright, the peeps behind Gone Home, return in 2016 with another environmental storytelling project called Tacoma. This one takes place in the future on a transfer station in space. Thumper is an epilepsy inducing psychedelic roller coaster self described as a rhythmic violence game. It's trippy, pulsating, like a tame Impala album cover come to life, and we love it already. Unravel was a surprise hit of E3 2015, endearing itself to the masses in the process. And it's not hard to see why. With its adorable hero strung out of red string, clever gameplay and emotional yarn, Unravel is an A-grade charmer. Wildfire is a stealth oriented puzzle game in which you control the elements of fire, water and grass to clever effect. And with its alpha out, Wildfire is coming along nicely.
We Happy Few is a survival game in which you need to escape a 1960s British town full of drugged up whack jobs wanting to convert you. Groovy baby, yet creepy baby. Where the Water Tastes Like Wine is an attempt to capture the essence of the American road story and folk culture. From what we see, its visuals and audio are already capturing that essence. Oh ho, Jonathan Blow, after Braid, where did you go? Oh ho, Jonathan Blow, how have missed you so? Putting an end to the rhyming, the witness is almost upon us, and with it comes a glorious island full of brain teasers. Call it what you want, but ukulele is Banjo-Kazooie. This Kickstarter miracle that revived a loved but forgotten franchise should be the game fans have wanted for 15 years. So the time has come, we finally made it to number 50. This last game, 1979 Revolution, details the Iranian uprising of 79 through the eyes of Reza, a young photojournalist. It's an exciting and bold direction for storytelling in gaming. Well that's it, a whole 50 indie games to look forward to in 2016. It's not the end of our preview for this year however, as we'll be back soon with 10 bold predictions for indie games in 2016. Also, if we missed any games you have your eyes on, please let us know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, my name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh, we'll see you next time here on Indie Former.